uncut, uncensored truth right here on ISBC Truth Channel with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby. And if you are new to this channel, just stumble across the channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, it's a bell. Hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. And don't forget, if you want to sign up to become a exclusive VIP member of this channel, you can get free t-shirts, free coffee mugs, and much, much more. Simply hit that blue join button right there next to that subscribe button and sign up today. Sister Smith. Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a shame. It's a shame that our people follow behind puppets and paid off puppets. Mm-hmm. Sister Smith, can you explain to me how did Mr. Yak showed up in court? Uh, he showed up in a in a pink suit with a yellow lapel. A pink suit with a yellow lapel. Pink represents death. Yellow we already know what that represents the sun. Mm-hmm. Pink represents death, yellow represents the sun. It seems here that this arrest was just orchestrated just so the world can see Mr. Yak come to court in his pink suit and yellow lapel. Whoever's around Kodak Black, I feel sorry for them, feel sorry for them, feel sorry for them. Kodak Black is supposed to be a rapper, yet I can't understand a word that comes out of the boy's mouth. I'm a, I smoke broccoli, broccoli. You know, nobody <laughs> wants to hear that. And to all of you older folks, you should be ashamed of yourself if you got a Kodak Black track playing in your car, in your headphones, in your playlist, or anything Anywhere you where your music is played. You need your ever-loving you-know-what, you-know-what. If you are having somebody like Kodak Black, if you're older, now you younger kids, that's Kodak Black age and younger, I understand. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and hear this, Sister Smith. Kodak Black appears in Boward court to enter rehab facility next week. Fentanyl positive urine test may have been inaccurate, defense attorney say. Uh, South Florida rapper Kodak Black made a grand entrance Tuesday morning at the Bowel Court uh, a con County Courthouse. He said, let me show you how fruity I really am. I love pink. I love hot pink. You know what would have been better? What would have went with his hot pink outfit, Sister Smith? What? Hot pink lip gloss. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that would have went good with old yak. You know what I'm saying? Some hot pink high heel shoes. You know what I'm saying? Kodak Black should have came to court with. You know what I'm saying? And when he left court, he should have left court in a hot pink Corvette. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Everything is hot pink. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, uh, <clears throat> wearing a bright colored box suit. His court date was scheduled after an arrest warrant was issued. You notice they said wearing a hot color box suit. They didn't say it was pink. Block suit. Yeah, they didn't say it was pink, did they? No. News media. News media. Why didn't you say that his suit was pink? Why didn't you emphasize that it was pink? 
You know why? Because, see, something have to, somebody have to alert the people what they're seeing so that they can see it. But if they're not alerted to what they're seeing, then it'll go right over their head that Kodak Black went to court in a hot pink suit on. Oh, Kodak Black in court. But did you see what he was wearing? Yeah, he was wearing a suit. What color was it? I don't know. The media didn't tell people what color it was. Well, I'm telling you. It was hot pink. Go ahead. Okay. His court date was scheduled after an arrest warrant was issued over the weekend for him in Barrow County. A local 10 News obtained the affidavits, which states that the rapper whose real name is Bill Capri. I thought you were going to say, you know, I thought you were going to say, Sister Smith. I thought, I thought you were going to say, rapper whose real name is Mr. Bill Clinton. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought that's what you were going to say. <laughs> is he related to Kid Capri? <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know. Just, uh... Okay. I told you yesterday you didn't turn my power. You want $10 for your pants? Oh, $10 yeah. for the pants that you put on the stove? Uh, yes. Well, you want me to give you $10, son? We'll check if you like. We'll do that in a minute. We, we live right now. Uh, ma'am, uh, uh, hold off. Uh, sh she'll be down there shortly. I'll just... Uh, she, she'll be down there shortly. It ain't going nowhere. We, we, I, we, we, we're on the air. Well, we on, okay. we on the, We're on the radio right now. Okay. Yeah, well, we, yeah thank you. <sighs> that never her. Hassling you for $10. What's she trying to do? Get a $10 bag of weed? <laughs> man, oh, man. I can't, I can't, you remember that ten dollars you owe me? You know, come on, I need it. I need a fix. I need a fix. <laughs> oh man! You know what I'm saying? I got the, the nerve of some people. Anyway, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Local Ten News obtained the affidavits, which states that the rapper, whose real name is Bill Capri violated the conditions of his uh, partial release, pre-trial release, I'm sorry, pre-trial release. Uh, authorities say Capri 25 first failed to submit to random drug and alcohol testing on February 3rd. On, on February 8th, he did take a drug and alcohol test, which showed a positive result for fentanyl per the document. Everybody knows that whatever pills you're taking is going to have a trace of fentanyl in it. Why? Because the government is putting it in every form of your medication. So you're going to always test positive for it. They know this. Go ahead. Uh, as a result, Capri release was revoked and an arrest warrant was signed by a Bower County judge on Thursday. The, the rapper defend attorney sought to prevent his detainment Tuesday, arguing that his client has never test positive for fentanyl in the in the past and has sought <clears throat> treatment for addiction to other substance. Attorney Bradford Cohen said it was also possible that the lab mixed up his urine sample due to a Starbucks employee who may have accidentally mixed up the paperwork or urine samples as he was taking two at two at the time. 
the man who collected the sample testified that it was posi- possible that an error was made. Judge Barbara Duffy and they agreed a short time later that a hair sample could be taken Tuesday to determine whether Capri has any uh, illicit drugs in his uh, system. He didn't want to do that. Catch you, catch you out in your lies. The judge caught you out in your lies. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. Why? Because it was going to show that you were lying. You sitting up there lying, yak. Coming up in the, the court with a pink tutu on. Go ahead. But not by that gentleman, the judge said, referring to the lab employee who testified Tuesday. Ultimately... The sample was not taken after Capri refused. So the judge ordered that the rapper enter a rehabilitation facility for 30 days as part of his pretrial release. Um, she granted the defendant's request that he enter the program a week from Tuesday so he can perform at his weekend's Rolling Loud Festival in California as some of the money earned will go to charity. You you better get it together, Duffy told Capri. Capri thanked the judge and then asked her if, the, if he could have a Jolly Rancher from the bowl or on the uh, bench before he left the courtroom. Capri was initially arrested in July of last year after troopers pulled him over and found 31 oxycodons pills and $74,960 in cash. They said he was also driving with an expired driver's license and tags. South Florida native Capri has been no stranger to dealing with uh, legal uh, issues, but he has also been a great advocate for his hometown of Papano mm, Beach. Yeah. Often participating in charitable events to help those in need. That's it. Oh, Lord, 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 come on, get out of here. We need to worry about that pink suit on. And people who's around Kodak Black need to be careful. You need to approach Kodak Black with caution because he's on a mission right now. Yeah. He's on a mission right now. So pay attention. I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank you for tuning in and logging on to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel, right on ISBC Truth, with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumbled across this channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a bell. Hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. All day, every day. Don't forget, if you want to sign up to become an exclusive VIP member, you get a free t-shirt, free coffee mugs, simply hit that join button right there next to the subscribe button and sign up today. Till next time. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Let me go quick. Hey, 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 hey. Babe, I got it. Wait, I, wait, I got it. I'm, I'm on a thing. Damn. Oh. Lord.